In the quest for eternal life, tech giants like Google are exploring ways to extend human life by hundreds, if not thousands of years. Humanitech, an LA-based AI company, is looking to take this quest for immortality a step further by transferring the minds and personalities of the dead into an artificial neural network and then downloading it into an artificial body or cybernetic humanoid unit. These cyborg units, installed with multiple sensor technologies, would be capable of autonomous movement, speech, and sensory perceptions such as touch, hearing, and sight. It is not known how much the process process will cost, states Bosignera, Humanitech's founder. The process involves using cryonics to freeze the human brain at the point of death in order to preserve it for the process of generating a brain map and creating an artificial neural network that will replicate the biological neural network of the decedent. Bosignera claims this technology will, quote, contribute to the human experience, end quote by making death much easier to accept. I can't help but wonder what changes in the neural pathways of the organic brain occur at the point of death and how these changes will be manifested in the uploaded brain map of the cybernetic unit. Or let's look at the scenario of a psychopathic mass murderer. <clears throat> the effect of uploading such a damaged mind into a computer or into a cybernetic unit opens a whole range of legal and ethical questions and concerns. And if you subscribe, as I do, to the fact that it's the soul or consciousness that makes you who you are, then to what end is downloading the brain map of a person's memories, thoughts, speech and sensory processing, alive or dead, as this process would merely create an avatar of that person who may look and act like the original person, but they would not contain the essence of who that person really is. Although computer technology has enabled scientists and engineers to copy many of the neurobiological functions of individual brains, they still do not understand the source and inner workings of the soul consciousness, and many refuse to acknowledge its, its existence or importance, as they believe it's merely a manifestation of the mechanical workings of the brain function, which is enhanced by memories and experiences. This is the missing piece of the puzzle they are striving to understand with projects like CERN. This concept of transcendent resurrection takes Kurzweil's vision of technological immortality in the form of transhumanism to a whole new level. The idea of uploading brain maps to a computer is not new. Ray Kurzweil, Google's director of engineering and one of the world's leading proponents of transhumanism, states that this is an inevitability with the advances being made in the field of artificial neural networks, artificial intelligence, wetware, and synthetic biotech. Another major player in this realm is a Dr. Randall Kuhn, or Cohen, spelled K-O-E-N-E. -E. Kuhn was working as the director of Halcyon Molecular, a joint venture between Elon Musk and Peter Thiel that was doing research in the area of using synthetic DNA developed in a lab on a computer to spur the growth of artificial intelligence. When Halcyon Molecular folded in 2012, Kuhn went out on his own and created a startup nonprofit called carboncopies.org to pioneer what he calls whole brain emulation, which can replicate the functions of the mind in a process called substrate independent minds or SIMS. I was surprised to learn that Kuhn's justification for SIMS is based on a concept of sustainability, whereby people would be able to live 
using different resources that are required today for survival. Those different resources were not defined. He also cited that his work on Sims would improve the current human form so as to be able to adapt the to new environmental and evolutionary challenges. SIMS technology incorporates BMIs or brain machine interface implants and this also implies the ability to remotely control the brain processes of individuals that would undergo this type of alteration. CarbonCopies.org is not only part of the 2045 initiative, it is also a player in the transhuman breakaway civilization movement. The campaign pushes on to refine the technology and computing power to upload human brain schematics into computers. This is evidenced by Obama's executive order on high performance computing, HPC the formulation of the National Strategic Computing Initiative, or NSCI, and his announcement and massive funding program for his Brain Initiative project, all being rolled out by decree. It should seem clear that research and development in this field is not intended for the preservation of experiences and knowledge. It is looking like a way to separate the brain-based human being from the consciousness-based or spiritual human being. I would like to know what you think as to why there is such a push being made in this area now, considering all of the other pressing problems in the world we are facing and why there is a distinct shift in the verbiage in these executive orders which emphasizes that these programs are being rolled out not to address the needs of the people or the nation as a whole but to the needs of government.